the drawings of the Gordon Manor in Wales. William drew those when he lived there as a young man. I only have a few necessities in it. I'll take the pills in case my head starts to ache again. I'll surely need the wallet. I can't see anything interesting. I often have headaches these days. I'd better keep them. There are some coins in it. There's quite a lot of money in it. A common metal coin. It's full of clean water. There's still enough water in the basin. My hands are clean. An old painting. I don't know who its author was. The Holy Cross. It's cold in here. I'll tell Bates to light up the fireplace. The room is quite cold. The room is quite cold. I don't want to rest now. Robert? May I speak with you for a moment? Of course. I'd be happy to speak to you. We haven't seen each other for such a long time. How many years has it been? Twelve, maybe more. A long time indeed. I am happy that you have returned. I have not come to stay. I came only to be here for William's funeral. Really? That's a pity. I thought you would stay with us for a few months at least. Maybe you can still change your mind. So, what do you want to talk about? What do you think about what happened to William? That is a strange question. What should I think about it? I don't believe it was an accident, let alone suicide. I am afraid you are jumping to conclusions, Samuel. You don't happen to think it was a murder, do you? No. But really, who would want to kill themselves in the autumn of their life? William was a very old man. Look, William was alone in the tower when it happened, and the door was locked from the inside. So a stranger's intervention is impossible. So why didn't he leave a letter? That I do not know, and I do not even want to think about it. Trying hard to get my thoughts away from William's death, and I absolutely don't feel like talking about it. How is it possible that Robert is not at all interested in this? Am I the only one who wants to know the truth of what happened to William? The castle is falling into disrepair. How long can it last like this? It has been standing here for hundreds of years, and it is not going to decay any time soon. It will outlive us, just as it has outlived our ancestors. But the old wing is on the verge of falling down. It was already on the verge of falling apart when I was born. Yet it still stands. Why hasn't anyone tried to restore it? Oh, sure they have. About a hundred years ago, Werner Gordon attempted to repair it. Why are you saying attempted? Well, he was not the first one who tried it. The new structure never lasted more than a couple of years. 
The original castle foundations that Marcus and Mordred jointly laid are within those walls. It is as though the old stones do not want to accept the new ones. Strange, indeed. So what has been happening around here since I've been away? Hmm. Things are rather odd, but I have no recollection of anything special. Are there any new families? No, I do not believe so. In fact, the only person to have moved here is Dr. Herman. We also have a different groom and a different gardener than the ones you knew. I've been away for twelve years, and all that has happened is that we have two new servants. Well, no one is clamoring to live around here. You know that yourself. Yes. Nothing really has changed. It's almost scary. I must go now. Right then. I'll return to my work. William had his study behind those windows. If I want to find out what actually happened, I must get inside somehow. should have been me that ended up in the flames, not her. This one is long retired. It's made of black marble. There's nothing in it. There's nothing in it, just dust. destroyed like the rest of the room because of the unfortunate fire many years ago. This place is making me remember all those horrible events. The canvas has been entirely destroyed by the flames. Just ashes. Just ashes. Something is glittering in the ashes. remnants of a torn-up photograph. I've never seen this face before. 
But who could have thrown the picture in that fireplace? And why did they take care to tear it up first? The door is locked. Bates sometimes sits on it when he has nothing to do. It seems as if no one has moved it for years. Mordred Gordon, the heartless ruler of the Dark Ages of our history. His rule was ended by his own brother Marcus in 1213. William would often sit here, reading the paper. That was a very long time ago, though. The fire has to be maintained in winter, as well as summer. Otherwise, it's very cold in here. The crackling of the wood is quietly echoing throughout the hall. He looks tired. I'm glad you have returned, sir. We have kept your room intact. It's exactly as it was when you left. Very nice. Thank you. If you would like to have it straightened, or anything else, just tell me. That won't be necessary. It happened so suddenly, I didn't have time to write that I was coming. I would be happy to help you with anything. Thank you. I'll be fine. Do you need anything else, sir? I have spoken to Robert. It seems to me he may not be feeling well. It is probably due to his responsibilities at Ashbury. Lately it seems to really exhaust him. He has recently taken to spending most of his time at work, often not even returning home for the night. He usually arrives in the evening, locks himself in his study, and works late into the night. He won't even let me in. He may just not want to be disturbed. Maybe. But he would never do that before. Hmm. I'll talk to him. All right, sir. I was under the impression that nothing had changed here since I left. So many years have passed. But it seems to me like it was just last month. The same scenery. The same weather. As though time would rather avoid this place. Sir. A lot has changed in your absence. Nothing is as it was, believe me. We are all growing old, and so is everything around us. I've been a servant here since my youth, and I know well how much a man can be changed by this place. During the last few months, things have been getting noticeably worse, day by day. It is as if the bleakness within the old walls of this manor is gradually taking us over. Maybe you're right. Even I don't feel exactly well within these walls. Been recalling memories of me that I've wanted to forget. Range of dark in them. And that dismal silence. Bates, could you please light up the fireplace in my room? It's quite cold in there. Oh, pardon this old servant, sir. I had completely forgotten about it. I will be happy to light up your fireplace. Also, if you need the room cleaned up properly, please say so. It 
was abandoned for over 12 years, and one hasty cleanup is insufficient? No, the room is all right. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. I need the key to the attic. Do you know where I can find it? It is hanging in the kitchen right next to the cellar door. You cannot possibly miss it. I'm going to need the key later today. Can you please put it back afterwards, sir? Of course I'll return it. Thank you.